Hello. The objective of this presentation is for you to identify the mechanism by which remote work can negatively impact team functioning and to provide you with guidelines for you to act upon. When working remotely, negative aspects can impact the team's process. This can be detected by a decrease in commitment to team norms and an increase in rule-breaking behaviors. Additionally, remote work reduces the probability and frequency of communication, which can be addressed by implementing special measures. Lastly, there may be a decrease in group cohesion, although there are nuances to this. For example, people tend to exhibit more bias or favoritism towards specific tasks, individuals or how we function as a team, which can be a nuance of group cohesion. A less shared identity within the group weakens the group's perception of itself as a cohesive unit. In addition, there is less ability for mutual influence, meaning that communication is less likely to occur and has less impact on the behavior of other team members. As a result of these factors, the team's sense of cohesion and cooperation can be compromised. This can be observed through a decrease in both the quantity and quality of collaboration among team members and a reduction of overall trust within the group. These factors lead to poorer task coordination, amplifying the negative aspects of team dynamics. In teams, we often seek diversity and heterogeneity, but when there is poor coordination, this heterogeneity can create complications, different perspectives may not be discussed, leading team members to row in different directions rather than working together towards a common goal. Poor coordination also amplifies the effects of weak leadership. When leadership is not well established, robust, or focused on the team, this is further diluted by poor coordination among team members. Furthermore, the effects of temporal instability are also magnified, meaning that the impact of team members entering and exiting the group with some frequency is increased. Ultimately, all of these factors lead to poorer team performance, both in task completion and team members' overall satisfaction, vitality and energy levels. Of course, this view of the negative aspects that affect team coordination, identity and processes may lead us to think that remote work always hinders teamwork. However, research conducted to date cannot confirm that putting a team to work remotely will always perform worse than in face-to-face -face situations and the other way around. Some people think working remotely will solve all their problems and improve productivity, but no conclusive research or information supports this claim. The effectiveness of remote work depends on how well it is managed for each team, and incorporating specific actions can balance or even enhance its impact on the team. Remote work can also be used to strengthen certain aspects of a team. For example, we can incorporate training that helps us identify which aspects require more attention and how we can improve teamwork within the team. We can also improve and strengthen leadership to effectively influence in a remote context. We can aim for more stable groups by reducing team member turnover or emphasizing training to accelerate socialization and identification processes within the team. Either of these options would be beneficial, sometimes it's unavoidable for team members to enter and exit frequently in dynamic teams, but we can work through training and group dynamics to speed up the socialization process. This way, new team members can quickly integrate into the group, and the team won't be negatively affected by frequent turnover.
We can also analyze the tasks assigned to the team to ensure they can be completed remotely or have some in-person meetings to address complex tasks. Presenciales cara a cara para abordar aquellas tareas que no sabemos muy bien cómo hacerlas en remoto dentro del equipo. Cualquiera de las dos opciones también puede ser puede ser posible. Either of these options can be beneficial. As you can see, we have options to enhance the positive aspects of remote work that can help us build a more effective team and mitigate the adverse effects that remote work may have on teamwork. It's important to understand that remote teams are more complex and challenging to manage. Even in-person teams have complications, but managing remote teams is much more intense. Therefore, those responsible for remote teams must dedicate special attention and a more significant amount of it than in-person teams. I believe that at this point you can identify the mechanisms by which remote work can negatively affect team performance. With this knowledge you can identify patterns and take action to minimize their impact.